what it looks like when it's on a flat surface. It's a raised bed. Just to make sure that things are clear, guys, the thing is this, and the half inch and the quarter inch tubing have different um, connectors. And so the connector for the half, the quarter inch, this is a plug. I can plug it in so to stop the flow of water if I'm finished running the, um, the quarter inch, or I could plug it into the half inch to stop a drip. That does work for me too with this connector here. Or I can use the quarter, um, the T, and the T one is for the quarter inch. And the T can run water in two different directions from one opening. So that's very helpful when you have a lot of plants and you want to go in different direction. That T does help. And then I could also have a single one right here. And the single one, I could run one drip from it. And, th and that's also fine. So for example, this thing right here is the T. The T, the bottom part, this part here, the bottom part here, the bottom part here um, runs into the half inch tubing and then the two side ones go towards any plant that I want. And so I can connect, for example, this, I can connect, for example, this thing right here, this sprinkler, or I could connect this drip. And so I can figure out what I want to run from my tea and what, uh, what plants I want to water. And then I use the hole puncher here to make holes into the, into the half inch to make any connection. As you can see this one here, I directly place, um, a drip, a sprinkler drip into the half inch and it could water a plant. If a plant is right next to this drip, the root is, um, is right there. That is, um, sufficient enough. I also have here the parts for the half inch and the half inch has the T, the same thing. The pipe can run in two different directions. The hose can run in two different directions. And then this one here, the, I call it my right angle. This allows me to turn the corners of the house or go up a slope and it's, and the pipe doesn't have to um, be bent. And then this one here, the last one, it allows me to extend my pipe. If my pipe that I cut is too short, just attach this and my pipe is now extended. So that works. And then I have these three things here. So this one at the end, this one right here is um, uh, the hose end for the half inch. I, this was came with my system last year. I put those in one end and put the other end in and it bends, it, 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 um, it closes it off. And then this is what I got. I got a bunch of these different styles last fall when winter was coming. And this allowed me to, attack, um, when, when I was draining the pipe, this allowed me to leave this section open a little bit after we blew through the pipes that water could drip out so the pipe won't burst during um, the winter, during the freeze. And then the last one is what I got this year with my new set of um, parts. And this is the same thing and just push it in and water stop flowing through the pipe in that direction. Water doesn't have no place to go now. So that is good. And then, uh, these things over here are my drip, my sprinklers too. These sprinklers that come in different colors mean different flow of water. The blue one spins. So I like that one. It goes down water comes at the bottom and I could water my plants without it hitting the leaves. And then this right here is the different drips. And this drip is, um, by the color, as I said, this one gives me two gallons per an hour. And the black one, this one over here, this black one, take the blue one out of it. The black one gives me one gallon per an hour and I can gauge what I want for each plant. And then this over here is my shutoff valve. So I can shut off a section of my yard that I don't want to be watered at this particular time. And I'm going to use this this year. It came with the new packet that I have because I wanted to have some shut off valve and I'm hoping that will work. I hope I should do my hole punch. This is what I use to punch holes into the half inch tube. And I have several. I like this one the best. And then this is what I have connected to my spigot. I have the backflow valve. The backflow valve prevent 
any contaminated water from going back into my system to so come into the house. So that works. And then I have between that, I have a PSI gauge, a PSI 25 um, pressure gauge so that, the, so that the pipes do not burst. And then after that, I have connected is the hose connector. And the hose connector is what I use to connect the half inch tubing to the spigot. And so that works. And so this is what we're gonna look at um, outside in a little bit. So this is what it looks like, guys. This is a spigot. So I attach the pressure, the, um, the timer to two. Okay, for one for the regular hose and then one for the drip irrigation system. So what I do is I connect the pressure gauge, the backflow valve, I should say first, the backflow valve goes first. And then on the pressure, it says 25 PSI. So that's connected. And then I connect the hose part when I could, that, that could actually have the hose connected to all of this. That last section is there and the hose is connected. And it's, it's, it's running underneath the house. So it's very difficult to connect this thing. So, as you can see, it goes from there underneath the house. So that's what's going on there. So, but that's how you connect this. So you have the, I have a, it's on a timer. So we have the timer. We have the, the of course, the spigot. We have the timer. Then we have the backflow valve. We have the pressure gauge. We have the hose connector. And that's what we do to run the drip irrigation system. So I'm going to place uh, one hole right here, one drip irrigation right here. I want to put only two, two above because I want them to spin. And this is the slope. So I'm going to see what if I can just get this thing up. This sprinkler is going uphill, so the pressure is not as much as, as, if, as if it's on the flat surface, but this is how it looks here. And then this is the orange one here. I just, I'm concerned this thing is pouring out too much water. I turned it down, but I just think that this is a lot of water coming out of this thing. And then if you want a drip, that's a drip. You can see it that's the drip i'm dripping and then where's the other one another drip if you can see it it just drips water and then uphill i should show you and then this one drops down it's an orange one it's pouring down on the plants at the bottom so i have different things in for different purposes orange again this is, this is why I have it on 10 minutes because I just think it's a lot of water, you know, coming out of this thing. But I have two of them in here and these plants are never dry. There's a lot of water coming out. What it looks like when it's on a flat surface, it's a raised bed, but this is it. And this is what it spins, the blue one on a flat surface. That's what it looks like and it reaches very the reach is far, so it's all the way out there. All of, all of that is wet. All of that is wet. So that's what that looks like. It doesn't have to go up a slope. So this is what I have, guys. This is what I use, guys, for my drip irrigation system. It saves a lot of time with water in my plant because I have a lot of garden beds and this um, cut on the time I have to spend out there watering each and every plant. Have a good one guys, bye.